integrate sine squared of x solution. In order to integrate sine squared of x, it's useful to know a very important identity. So the sine squared of x is equal to 1 minus cosine 2x all divided by 2. So the first step in this problem is to rewrite sine squared using this identity. So we can write it as 1 minus cosine 2x all divided by 2 dx. The next step is to break it up. We can write this as 1 divided by 2, so it'll be 1 over 2 dx minus, and then cosine 2x divided by 2. So cosine 2x divided by 2, and then dx. Now maybe a, a, a good step now might be to pull this 1 half out. Likewise, over here in the second integral, the 2, we can write that as 1 half and also pull it out. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can write this as 1 half times the integral uh, of dx. It's really just 1 dx, if you want to think of it that way, minus 1 half. And then here we have cosine 2x dx. All right, um, so when you integrate this piece here, this 1, you're just going to get x, right? Because the derivative of x is 1. So here you just get 1 half x. Now, this, this integral here is actually really easy. Like, if you wanted to do it, if you wanted to work it out, what you would do is you would let u equal 2x, and then du is equal to 2dx. Then you would divide both sides by 2 because there's no 2 there, right? So you want to make it match. So you get 1 half du equals dx, right? So this would become, well, if you pull the 1 half out, there's already a 1 half here, right? So you're going to get 1 fourth, right? 1 fourth cosine u du. And now it's a piece of cake, right? So now we end up with, let's see, 1 half x minus 1 fourth. And then when you integrate cosine, you always ask yourself, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? Well, sine, right? So the integral of cosine is equal to sine. And it's sine u, but we know what u is. u is 2x. I'm skipping a step here, then plus c. Now, I said a few seconds ago, I said, if you wanted to show the work, if you wanted to integrate this, what did I mean by that? Um, at this point, like when you're doing integrals like sine squared, you should be able to integrate this in your head. Watch this. Say you have cosine 2x dx, right? So you say, what's a function whose derivative is cosine? So sine. So you just get sine 2x. Then you just divide by 2. Boom. So if you had like cosine 4x dx, it'd be the same thing, except it'd be sine 4x. And then you just divide by 4. right? So you can always do that when it's a number times x. You can just divide by that number all day long. Super useful. I hope this video um, has made sense. That's it.